What is up YouTube and welcome to another Cribs Out excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe for more. It's hard seeing down in the sewers. A lot of you guys ask, how do you stop on your skateboard when you want him to stop? You have to stop with your feet. Oh my gosh. Watch out with the kids. <laughs> Good boy. Did you see that kid's face? <laughs> Looked like he was about to freaking die. Go. <laughs> Every time we cross the street, he just hits the V Tech that little bit more. I don't want you to die, master. I appreciate you, crypto. I appreciate you, dog. You also need commands for your dog to stop. He has no respect for people. I love it. Go. <laughs> Come on, Quanto! You guys have been asking, when are you gonna get a P.O. box? I think it's time we open up a P.O. box. Next episode, we will be opening a P.O. box. Oh, there's a rat. Hey, slow down. Is that a girl? What's her name? Candy. Candy? I have one of those too. Yeah, a little rat dog. Uh, his name's the rat. He's all like, is that a female rat? I don't think he's ever seen a female rat. He fell in love with her. She wanted him too. She likes him big. Oh, look, a little hawk. <coughs> Please don't attack me, hawk. If you guys want to send me stuff, I don't want anything illegal. I forgot to mention the harness is actually back available. If you guys are looking to buy the harness, the link is in the description. There's only 14 available. Purchase it before they run out again. It's called the Explorer Harness and it was unavailable for a long time. I just recently noticed that they're back available. Someone already sent me a picture of their dog with the harness on and that's freaking awesome. It's like they're wearing matching uniforms or something. This is a pulling harness and it does come with a bungee leash. It does only come in one size, but the size is adjustable. I do have a review on it. I'll be sure to put the video at the end of this video. This harness always comes in clutch. I can't believe summer's over already. I only went swimming once. I didn't go to Raging Waters. Oh, sorry. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. We're almost at 20K, guys. I want to thank every single one of you guys. We're almost at 100 posted videos as well. I'm two videos away from posting 100 videos. Once I post 100 vids, I'm gonna feel so accomplished. Triple digits always seems very interesting. Once you hit 100,000 subs, YouTube sends you a play button. I believe it's the silver play button. Well, you know crypto sure as hell will be unboxing that silver play button as soon as we get it. I'm gonna go ahead and set that as our next goal. Forget 20,000 subs, our next goal is the silver play button. I want you guys to go ahead and share all my videos. Tell everyone you know about my videos. Next step for me would have to be to make some business cards for the channel. I've just never personally liked shouting myself out. Even at people at the dog park, it won't be me that tells them, but it'll be someone else that tells them. I think it's the feeling of just knowing that I gained 18,000 subs without telling one person about my channel. We haven't gotten any YouTube shout outs that I know of. YouTube shout outs are a really big way to grow a channel. Nobody's ever given me a shout out. I don't know why. Look how bougie he looks. Look at the booty, dude. Oh my gosh. Mmm, look at the booty. Go. Will we be able to cross this huge ass speed bump? Yep. We're almost 19% of 100%. This is gonna be the all time biggest goal of the channel. When you are starting a YouTube channel, they say that the first 100 subs are the hardest subs to get. I'm waiting for my channel to somewhat grow more before I start giving tips and advice. I can tell you that the first 100 subs are indeed the hardest subs to gain. The next milestone for YouTube would have to be 1,000 subs. After 1,000 subs, you should expect your channel to grow. As long as you keep posting, noticing why your channel is growing and work over that, 
and you should see your channel grow much quicker. They say there's three things that determine what makes a YouTube channel blow up. The first thing is the first 100 subs. The next thing on your checklist for a YouTube channel to blow up is 10,000 subs. After 10,000 subs, your channel should be growing way faster than it was before. So the third final thing that determines when a channel blows up is after you post 100 videos. So that's what I'm personally waiting for. We won't necessarily just blow up out of nowhere. I will let you guys know on how that goes. That's the growth of how a YouTube channel blows up. Our next step is 100 videos. This will probably be the 100th video. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's crazy to say. I would like to thank every single one of you guys for sticking through the whole journey of my first 100 videos. It's been a pleasure to be with you guys and it's gonna be a bigger pleasure the next 100 videos. Like I've always said, my biggest wish for this channel is to build the bug out van and stop in every state to visit a dog park. That would be a freaking awesome playlist. I'm not completely sure when that would happen. The money situation, of course, affects the time I do that. My final topic for this video, you guys are asking to do another Q&A. Go ahead and ask me a question. If the question's already been asked in a previous q and I'm not gonna answer it. Look over all my other videos because my Q&As are kind of spread out. Make sure you guys label it hashtag q and I'm gonna make a playlist for the videos where I went over the Q&As. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys watch that playlist first before you guys ask any questions because there are some questions that are getting really repetitive. That's gonna go ahead and end this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Peace. Feel free to follow my Snapchat and my Instagram at KZE underscore production.